What's up, boys? Ha! Got my baseball hat on, straight brim style, so I'm feeling a little swagalicious, if you know what I mean. Ha <laughs> ha! Tonight, brewing, I'm sorry, reviewing, not brewing, it's already been brewed, the Yingling Flight. Gotta give props for the, uh, the name, the logo, very reminiscent of... Uh, well, you know, 4th of July is coming around the corner here. It's kind of patriotic, I think. Kind of looks like the Air Force logo with the flight. Reminds me of a little movie that I watched with my bros not too long ago. Let's crack this baby open. Take it to the danger zone. Not really. Because it's only 4.2%. Not so dangerous, but let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Ah. Definitely light. Disappears off the tongue pretty quickly. Uh, what I noticed about this beer here is um, it really has a... Um, it kind of tastes like frosted flakes a little bit. Some beers taste like that, I think. it's uh, They've got like a sweetness to it. It's that bready flavor from the yeast, I guess. Um... And almost like a vanilla caramel kind of vanilla caramel notes I'm, I'm, I'm getting on the tongue. So I've been, uh, I kind of, I heard that from another person before uh, describing it as frosted flakes. I get a, I get some frosted flakes, some Tony the Tiger with the, uh, with the Yingling flight. Not too heavy, it's not too, not too heavy on the frosted flakes, but just, just enough um, to give it just a, Interesting flavor, but again, not too heavy. Definitely light. Mm. That's good. All right, boys. Bo the Bro Tender. Kicking it with his Iron Man hat on. Over and out. Peace.